Gucci man talking about what it's like being in the feds amidst all of this stuff happening with Little Dirk. I believe this is so key because now it sparks conversation. You know, Gucci man um, did some time in the feds for some for some gun charges, and he's came back and revitalized himself. I believe he gave his wife a a, a load of money. Uh, let me see, a few million dollars before he went to jail. But anyway, so Gucci went to jail, um, did some fed time over some gun charges, and he had to pay a little bit of fines, et cetera, et cetera. But what I think happens is when people like Gucci come back from the feds, he ends up signing a whole shitload of artists that are all currently in jail now. Like you have Pooh Shiesty, rest in peace. A few of his artists have actually passed away. So it's not really looking like a good representation of what should happen when you get out of jail, being that he has signed more talent and then they end up in jail. So it's kind of a... It, it lets you know what's happening in the world. But he did go on an interview and talk about the Fed having high con conviction rates. And this could be an old interview, but I think it's good to shed light on this because the simple fact that a lot of people think they can beat the Feds. And usually when the Feds come, they come for a reason. And you're probably going to go under the jail. And this is what he had to say about it. it. It One thing, it made me grateful of my freedom and move different. But second, I got an education of the laws and how they go. So once you've been in the feds, you start, you get out, you understand the, the power of snitching because everybody snitches because that's why they got the conviction rate of 98% because everybody who goes, goes to the feds, they, they really plead guilty or they tell. It's not no like fighting trial and you, and people beating it. You know, that's like one out of 10. Say, I'm, I, I want you to say that again for the audience. It's not they no fighting trial and beating it. percent conviction yeah. rate, which means yeah. they're, they're always way. winning. Because they don't even take the case unless they got all the evidence. They, 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 that's how they go by their business. They're not just taking cases. Right. They're taking cases that they know they're they going to be able to, uh, you know, they got you. They ain't even coming to them. Right. So that let me know just like the snitches is what doing this. Because I'm seeing, you know, you befriend people in there and they showing you, man, like, these are confidential informants. These are paid informants. You know, you can just pay, get out of jail. Now, I, I know this is old footage. But what it makes me realize is that we are in a time where a lot of people are going to jail, like the situation with Lil Durk, because of the wire tapping issues, um, because of rats in your circle. And a lot of people will be surprised when somebody starts snitching and somebody starts ratting. But sometimes, uh, like he was going and saying that prison actually helped him and made him become a better person. Some people go to jail and become better, and some people go to jail and can never adapt to society and end up right back in jail. Going through the system, what are your thoughts on prison? I think prison is just, um, it's very challenging, man. Really? It's hard. Right. It's something you when you know, it's hard for me to even describe it. Like, people say it changed me for the better, you know, and I grew a lot in prison, but it's it's, it's a terrible place to be. Yeah, it ain't no place to be. I've it been like, there, too. It ain't, it ain't no, no fun. No fun. And you can't me. leave. You know what I'm saying? That's the leave. thing. You can't go record. You it's can't, like torture. Yeah, you can't do yeah. the things oh, that Jerry, you love to do. Oh, Jerry, you went to jail. Up here, ask that man. Well, honey, I, I, I went, asked him. <laughs> no, I went to jail, honey, but I was just for no more than 30 minutes. Well, about an hour, well I did spend a night. But anyway, <laughs> I went, I, that's my choice. Went, jail and prison is totally different. It is. Oh, it sure is. The county and prison is totally different. So, Gucci says you and Brad are both former prisoners. Do you ever think about going to do free concerts for the people? Yeah, I would love to do it. If they, you know, I do think about that. I yeah. go talk to yeah. people all the time. Oh, really? I'm very down with the prison reform and helping women is in prison uh, when they get out, helping them do better and try to stay on the right track. I'm totally down with that. That's dope. Good. Like, you know, being like in a situation like that where you go into a system where a lot of people know who you are. Yeah. And here you are trying to collect your thoughts and just try to figure out how you trying to move in life. Yeah. How did you ward off so many different energies? Because I'm pretty sure you got people like running up on you. I could rap, I could rap. Yeah. Or you got people who like just walk up to you reciting your lines because they a fan. And you know how? Did, like, how did you process all that and deal with it? Man, it was hard. It was hard. It was so much animosity, tension, mm. groupy stuff going on in that prison. Violence, yeah. death, killing. Really? From the offices you know, too. I'm surprised I made it out of there. Yeah. Really? Yeah, man. folks getting killed, man. Dude got killed in the shower. Yep. Are you I serious? seen him. I seen him kill a young boy when them like eighteen or night. I ain't see him kill him, but he got killed. They called faggot in his head after they raped him. Man, that John was serious or not? That's insane. I had a person. I was working on a documentary about um, uh, guys who went to jail for a very long time, and a lot of stuff that happens is really brutal. So when they try to brag about being in jail, I always wonder why because they know what's happening in there. 
There's always somebody bigger than you. There's always somebody tougher than you. And even little Dirk going to jail in California, a lot of the young boys who think Chicago is the toughest planet, I mean, the toughest city and state in the world, in different cities, they have different politics. So California, they're ran by different people, not the people who are calling shots in Chicago. It's a whole different type of gang territory. So it's interesting what might happen in the type of environments little Dirk might be in. I don't like to glorify jail, even though Gucci Man came home and for some odd, odd, odd reason, he has multiple artists that have passed away are in prison. Uh, Hot Boy West, Poo Shicey, Fujiano, Big Fizzle, Coach the Ghost, who's on his label. And they said that even Rollo was under 1017, but he just got he just came home. So I'm always wondering what's happening in hip hop where all of these artists are going down these holes and end up going to going to jail. Specifically Little Dirk. I mean, when you think about it, like how did you end up in jail? And this case just keeps getting worse and worse and worse with the Little Dirk situation. Because the charges that Little Dirk are facing come with a very 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 lengthy uh sentence term and they're talking about life or the death penalty and what i don't really understand is how everyone is still like saying free smirk or like um posing his old songs and saying oh he predicted this there's nothing glamorous about going to jail for the rest of your life i i, I really hope people understand that and i really hope that message is clear from gucci man about how bad prison really is because these young boys I actually had a kid tell me before like, you might have to try jail to really see what it's like for yourself because it's not that bad. I said, bro, why would I ever want to try jail to see what it's like for myself? <laughs> but mind you, there are really a lot of people out here who think like that. And I can't really wrap my brain around it, but there are really a lot of young boys who think that they have to go to jail to somehow prove. Them. But as I always say, you let me know your thoughts about that. I just wanted to sh share that message that Gucci Man has been saying because I think I missed all the little Dirk stuff and him and Dirk do have songs together. That is a good message to put out there to the youth and let them know jail is not for nobody. No matter how tough you think you are, there is somebody way tougher than you on the inside. I'm gone.